now presents you with this medallion as a symbol of the office of the president of West Texas A&M University. He may have started life in New York, but he's all about the Texas Panhandle now, of course, West Texas A&M University. WT President Dr. Walter Windler in studio right now with a focus on student housing and a really good way for a student to save a lot of money. Mr. President, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Anthony. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. Why would students want to take part in this? What's the well, biggest benefit you're going to get? Uh, the, probably the biggest benefit from my perspective is you knock 25% off the cost of housing. And that's a, benef that's a realistic benefit that everybody can relate to. So that's one that we really are proud of. Uh, what happens is a student in this plan, a student will stay on campus for five semesters. They get the sixth semester free. They come back the seventh semester and get the eighth semester for free. So if it's a four-year plan and eight mm -hmm. semesters, you save 25%. Now, you, when you say free, you mean free. You don't mean kind of free. No, no, no. This is absolutely free. You don't have to do a special dance or anything. It is absolutely free. Okay. What does it say, though, about most students who go from off-campus living back to on-campus living? What kind of statistics, what kind of studies show about that particular student? Well, students that live on campus um, invariably do better with their GPAs. They're between two-tenths and three-tenths of a point higher with their grade point averages. They study more. They're around other people that are going to school, uh, and many people, uh, you know, they encourage each other and they work hard at it. So that's a very, that's a significant uh, advantage is the GPA. The graduation, time to graduation, tends to go down. Mm -hmm. Again, it's this focus about being a student. It's all good. There's not a downside to living on campus, other than the fact that it is a little more expensive than life in apartments where you crowd people in and eat bologna. And, yeah, where well, you, you get know, a bunch of people living in yeah. one dwelling. That's yep. one thing, but yep. you're going to get the comforts of not being, you know, crammed into a room with multiple roommates. So Right, and, and there is also, when I say safety, I'll say safety with a small s, not a big s. Okay. But, but it's also, it's a much safer environment. And one of the positive things that I see a lot of people that do foolish things as college students, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, things like that, people that are otherwise sane and thoughtful about what they do, I see people that do the wrong thing, make the bad decisions, and the fact of the matter is when they live on campus, they're less likely to do those things. Part of it's the oversight. I think part of it is the peer pressure. And then uh, another advantage of this plan is they get to meet people who are not like themselves. At a and university that's very internationally eclectic. Yes, it is. It is. We, we, you know, we have students from 40 foreign countries and um, a few more than that in terms of the states. You know, almost every state in the nation is represented. And we're going to see more of that. My attitude about WT is when we serve locally well, when we serve the top 26 counties well, that, that idea of service and that commitment to being honest and fair with students will spread and people will come here from afar because they'll know we're committed to student well-being. All right, well, we have about 15 seconds here. I want to ask you, one, when does this begin? It, this starts this fall. This fall is the first, uh, the first fall that will be completely operational. And if people are late coming, if they're transfer students, whatever they may be, we're making similar arrangements to reduce the cost of housing by 75, by 25%. And finally, how do you like the gig? It's been almost a year. Oh yeah, I I, uh, I can't say enough about it. I, uh, West Texas is a is a tremendous place to live, and Amarillo may be the last real Texas city in the whole state of Texas. You heard him. That's the president <laughs> right here. We need to talk again soon. Can you Anytime. come back on the show? Shh. Anytime you want. I have the number to the office. I'm going to call you. Still okay. to come.